Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play. This is episode 4 of Breath of the Wild. Uh, we are in Kakariko Village right now. Uh, we just visited Impa's house. We uh, also cooked some food. Um, most of this stuff is to sell, the ones with salt. Um, so looking at our map here, I know that there is a Korok over here somewhere in the water. So we're going to go grab that first. There's another Korok in this uh, signpost oh, as you're exiting Kakariko. Um, just like there is on the opposite side. So we're going to grab those two things first because that's I know that they're, they're there. Um, and then we're just going to head straight out of Kakariko and on our way back towards Hateno Village, which is where Impa sent us. And along the way, we're probably going to meet some bandits. We're probably going to meet some stuff um, on the road to Hateno. Um, the Hateno Tower is marked here. Um, so we will stop by there, climb that, get the tower so we can get the map, and then head over towards Hateno which is where the uh, next um, quest is taking us. Um, and after this part, I believe, um, for the next episode, we'll head back to Kakariko to um, finish the, the um, quest line uh, to get the unlocked memories, and, and then we can continue on with the rest of the game. That's where it actually will open up, and then it's just shrine hunting from that point on. Um, so let's... Um, Let's get our horse. Wherever our horse is. Oh, wait, we left her way up there. I wonder if it'll actually work. Well, anyway, we can... Oh, uh, Korox. That's right. I think it's over on this on the right side here. And there it is. So we just gotta jump into this guy here. Yay. Right. Come on, one more. Cool. And then under this house, there's a bunch of stuff too, so I may as well grab it. Mm. Ah, wrong thing. There's some more over there. will help out with uh, stamina which um, for the time being we we will need um, oh, oops all right and then the other Korok uh, is, come on horse there she is let's go a little faster there we go nice little trot um, so that's the place where you buy the armor, and we currently don't have enough rupees for that. Um, we have 55. Um, I do want to spend our first 100 rupees uh, unlocking the fairy fountain, which is um, up uh, right next to where that shrine is behind us. Um, so that's where our first 100 rupees will go, and then from then on we'll just start saving money to get the armor and buying all this armor up. The chic armor is actually really important because you get to sneak up on a lot of people after that, and that kind of helps out to be able to be sneaky. How do I not have... Oh, I probably did it to be silent. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it's the other side. I know it's one of them. And I'm stingy with arrows. I'm going to grab this arrow. Let's try this side. Nope, wasn't that one either. Maybe it's this highly decorated one with all the arrows sticking into it. Yep, that'll do it. Where did that arrow go? Come on, where's zero? Oh well, not important. Come on. So. Now we just have to horse ride out of here. And since we don't have money, I can't go into this store and buy a bunch of arrows, which is kind of a shame. Um, I might actually speed this up.
Okay, yeah. I ended up just speeding up the exiting of Kakariko just because it's, it takes too long. You can't really control the speed. Um, you're just trotting. There's really nothing that was there. I mean, so I just sped it up for, for you guys. Yeah. Save some time on there. Let's get that chicken. And I saw a shroom back here. So I'll grab those. Yeah, a lot of the game is actually spent on traveling, especially if you can't fast travel. Uh, so there's going to be instances where if I'm just going from one place to another, um, I'll probably just speed it up so that way you don't have to sit here and watch me run all day. And that means more content in the episodes, too. I bet you there's a Korok on top of that mountain. But I won't go up there right now. We have a decent amount of Koroks. Ah, here we go. Yuga Clan guy. So, you'll see some people kind of just chilling here every once in a while. I'll pass. <laughs> what the heck? Did he just... <laughs> what was that? Come on. There we go. That was a really weird, uh, weird little thing he clipped out of the, out of the grass. I think he like dropped into the river, but he was still technically alive. Oh, look at that. 60 rupees. Right there. Awesome. On the road to Hateno, we got all the money we needed for that ferry, so that's good. Um, anything after that, I'm just gonna uh, save it for for gathering more armor. My first playthrough, I did not get the Sheikah armor, armor until way late. And I kind of regret that, because... Sheik Arma armor is really freaking good. Especially after you upgrade it a few times, it's it turns to be a very uh, wonderful asset to have in your inventory. This guy. I'm grabbing some monster parts. Oh, there's just one. Let's see, who are these guys? Is that blue or black? I can't tell. Ah, uh, we shouldn't really need to go that way. We got this shroom, and continue on our horse. Yeah, this is um, kind of a creepy place. This is where the one of the final battles took place. So you see all the... Um, the wrecked guardians as the uh, they tried to attack uh, Fort Hateno, I think it's called. This wall over here right in front of us. There's probably some bird eggs up there. No, there isn't. Yeah, this is Fort Hateno. And it's just like the last stop that they had. And uh, there's also some other story-driven things that happened in this place, which we'll find out later. I always forget how overpowered the weapon I have is, and I also forgot to do the uh, amiibo thing. So we'll, when we get to Hateno, we'll, we'll do it. That, that way we're not in the wilderness when we do it. So you never know. <whistles> Q. 
call our horse to us. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Actually, I should probably start calling her by her name, which is Dulce. Uh, no, 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 no. And see, this is one of the reasons why you, you give affection to your horse, because if she was still kind of wild and untamed, then she would have just bucked me off at that point. What do you want? Yeah, last line of defense. And, uh... It's so crazy. That's what I love about this, is it's it's this like remnants of a war that we missed out on as a character. We don't know anything about it because we've been dead this whole time. Well, not dead, but recovering. Let's get this honeybee stuff. I don't care if I get attacked by the bees. They're gonna be like, wait, where's our stuff? There's also a shrine over here to the left, um, but it requires a certain amount of time. It's, I think at night it, it lights up or something like that. Uh, it's a big uh, gathering of guys there. Let's see, it's 4.30. Yeah, it's too late or too early in the day for it to actually do anything and I don't want to stand around. So we'll do that later. What is this? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I knew it. It's another one. Come on. There we go. He did slice me. He got me. Hmm. Let's see. I haven't really used this torch yet. Let's just get rid of it for now. Watch. The next thing I need is a freaking torch. Oh, you know what? I think I do need a torch for this next tower. I'm going to keep that, because you never know. You really don't. Um, these sickles are just way too good. Let's drop this boomerang. Yeah, every once in a while you run into those bandits, and I, I like to fight them, because they're just... It's the first time I ran into it, it was super creepy, because you, you expect it to be like a, a helping kind of quest. Of like, oh, I need, like for instance in that one, I need some grilled salmon, and you're like, what? Why are you sh shivering because you need grilled salmon? And uh, turns out they wanted you the whole time. All right, so there's the tower, and Hateno Village is over there. So we're going to go ahead and climb that tower by going this way, and I'm totally ignoring that hoblin. There are going to be some moblins up here. I should probably use the better uh, bow and arrow that I have. I'm going to switch to a better bow. Because I would have knocked them out with those. Wooden mop. Love that. And a pitchfork. I have no more bows and arrow. Oh, wow. I accidentally hit my horse there. Let's get this. Moblin horn, yay. And some rice. Interesting. I wonder where that came from. Yeah, I accidentally hit my horse, and that is not really good. Um, let's get some apples. Give to the horse. Sorry I hit you. Yeah, you don't want your horse to die. Because uh, then you have to go visit the horse god, and it's just this long, drawn-out thing. Yes, there is a horse god in this game. It's interesting. 
Interesting mechanic, uh, because your horse can actually die. I'm just gonna ignore these guys, they're not really worth it. But this, these minerals, these are totally worth it. Let's get this. Really? Really? You're hitting my horse like that, dude? Oh, almost hit my horse again. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna leave my horse here this time. Wow. And I need some food before I die. And let's see. Okay, so. Um, we are almost at this tower, right? Yeah, the tower's over there. So... Let's jump on our horse. Yeah, this is where you need fire. I, I do think I have fire arrows, so that should be okay. Yeah, see, this is where they... There's a little pot there you can cook stuff. Looks like it's gonna rain soon, so... Oh, no, it's just cloudy. Never mind. So, let's get our fire arrows. Let's set some fires. Shall we? Hateno Tower. Ah, that was dumb. So, I'm waiting for the updraft, and I'm gonna hopefully... There we go. Take the updraft. Oh, that sucked. Alright, looks like we're climbing. Okay, now, just kidding. Got a little bit more updraft, that helps us out. Okay, good. We still have the bandana on because I forgot to put that on one time. We'll probably just keep this bandana on until I get some better armor for something else because right now I just have regular clothes. Did that really go right through? The Slowly getting to the top here. We're probably going to ditch our horse here, actually. Um, which is kind of sad. But uh, from here, I can actually paraglide pretty close to Hateno. And skip a lot of the walking that has to be done. You can always recall your horse back when you get to another stable. So I think there's um, either another stable or we're going to have to walk it to the our st second stable, the one that's closest to K Kakariko. I don't remember what it's called. Right. Let's actually check the map and see. I don't think there is a stable on the way. There. That means we're gonna have to walk all the way back. 
unless we jump on the horse and ride it right back around. Eh, we probably could and take the south route. It's just so tempting to jump off these towers because, you know, you spend all this time to get up there. Let's see, where's Hateno? That is not Hateno. Where am I looking at? Oh, this way. There we go. Yeah, I could just fly all the way down, but see this road here will take us to Hateno as well and we'll keep our horse. So I think I'm going to do that instead. Um, you don't want to leave your horse behind, right? I wouldn't. All right, let's go. I love doing that. Oh, where did this guy come from? Interesting. He wasn't here when I got here. Just die. Oh man. Oh, I think I just woke up some more of the guys. Yeah, shoot me. I need some arrows. Alright, whatever. Ow, he actually shot me. Yeah, there's an encampment here. We're probably just going to skip that um, on our way to Hateno. Let's see. I'm just checking on time. Time-wise, we're doing okay. Mm. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. He's looking right at us. Got blown away. Oh, bats. Let's get a two handed weapon. All right, these guys are still kind of. Oh no, they're awake. After all that commotion, they've got to be awake. sword. I really want these monster parts. It's kind of the main reason why we're doing this, is for the monster parts. Oh, no, we don't need that. What is up with this bat? He's just stuck here. Poor guy's like, stuck inside the stairs. I can't even put him out of his misery if I wanted to. Alright, get over here. Oh, man. Again. Uh, Alright, well, I'll get that later. What's in this treasure chest? So far, this was not worth it. Yeah, go ahead. Call all your friends. Oh yay, now it's worth it. I got some arrows, finally. Let's see... Now this entire encampment is done. This guy dropped a decent bow, I think. What kind of bow is that? Oh, see, it's decent. Not bad. Level 10, we can at least get rid of these Boko bows. Oh, and he did have more arrows, too. Good job. 
All right, on to Hateno. That was like what a four minute, four minute detour. Not too bad. More bats. I wonder if that one's still stuck in the stairs. <laughs> That's so interesting. I do love that I'm recording these now because I've seen a lot of glitches in this game before, and now that I actually get to record them is kind of funny. Because you could tell people, oh yeah, I saw this or I saw that, and you know, some, some people won't believe you. Too soon. I guess I had an inventory open for a spear. What is that over there? I saw something shiny. I don't want a tree branch. These ladies. They're always asking for help and whatnot, and they're just looking for truffles. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk to them. Who cares? They don't give you anything. I don't think they do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's all they want is those damn truffles. Which, th I'm not gonna lie, those truffles are actually pretty nice to have because they do a full, full health restore. Yeah. All right, Hateno Village, here we go. Love this place, my favorite town. And, um... We are going to go straight to the place I need to go, because you go up to the Hateno, or the, the uh, tech lab, the ancient tech lab, and then they say, oh, well, we have this blue fire that we need, and, and so we're just going to kind of bypass me going up there to talk to them first. I'm just going to start lighting these, uh, these little torches, and I believe it is over here. Of course you don't want to run here. <laughs> Where is this place? I think it's over here somewhere. Or is it here? This this uh, rock structure. Pretty sure. Yep, blue fire. Cool. So we have to take this blue fire up that way. So I'm actually going to go this way. I don't think I've gone this way before. And hey, uh, I need a torch. Remember that time I got rid of the torch and said, uh, maybe I shouldn't get rid of the torch. Well, here we go. Torch time. And there's torches all over this town, but I don't think there's like a quest to light all the torches in town. Come on, light up. So I'm not going to do that. Unless I can find like some sort of quest that says that we should do it, then I'll do it. But um, there's no real need to. Because I didn't get any benefit of doing it last time. And maybe I missed a, a torch or, or a, a lantern somewhere. But uh, yeah, waste of time. Look at these sheep or rams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to speed this up. Okay. We can use it as a travel gate now, but we probably won't because of the whole thing that I'm trying to avoid. 
All right, so we're at this ancient tech lab. Let's go ahead and go in and see what they want. Precisely. I don't. That's why I'm here. I don't remember you. Let's see. Let's just do the enthusiastic one. So this will um, uh, unlock the camera, I believe, and um, yeah, and the compendium. So after this, then there's three things you can do. You can upgrade the three rooms you have which is why you collect those ancient uh, parts from all those guardians. And I hopefully, hopefully have enough to at least upgrade one of them. So these are the memories. And I think we still need to go see Impa to have her set us on our path. Oh, she gives us the champion's tunic. That's right. That's why we have to go back. And that champion's tunic is going to be the bread and butter of armor that we're going to wear for most of the time. <laughs> All right, let's take a picture. This is just talking about the uh, the memories, and if you go there, you might remember something. And so, basically, you just look at the the pictures, and then try to try to find that in the in the land. And uh, once we get more powerful, we'll start roaming around and grabbing them. Um, I remember where most of them are. Mm hmm. So now let's do. I need three ancient screws to power up the Sheikah sensor. Shafts for remote bombs and cores. So I don't have cores, I know that. But I think I have three of each of the other two. Ancient materials. I'm game. Let's do the... Let's try remote bomb first. Yes. Snap. Yay. Ooh. This makes the, the bombs regenerate faster, which is a definite plus. Speaking of plus, remote bomb plus. Mm -hmm. 
All right, then we'll get the Sheikah sensor upgrade, and that'll allow us to uh, target certain items in the game. If you're looking for a specific mushroom or whatnot, you can take a picture of it, set it as your sensor, and then it'll beep whenever you run into those things. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Ancient materials, Sheikah sensor, screws. I know I have screws. Yay. All right, I'm gonna try to skip this if I can. I don't know if it allows me to. Yeah, it does not. So you're gonna suffer with me. Or I could just speed it up. Yep, complete. I think they have a quest for me too, uh, to find sun shrooms. Mm -hmm. And this guy's gonna be all stoked on it. He's like, oh man, I wanna see that. Yeah, sure, let's go talk to this guy. Yeah, 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 let's see here, blah, 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 behind the lab, all right. So, behind the lab, there is a sunroom. So what we'll do is we will not grab a bomb. <laughs> we will get a picture of it. Let's get a nice picture. Sunroom, save it into the compendium. And now, oh, you know what? May as well grab it. Ooh, speaking of grabbing things. Let's grab this lizard. He's staring right at me, isn't he? Just as long as you're quiet enough, he will not run away. There we go. Because we will need those for upgrading the climber's gear, I believe. Alright, so we took a picture of that thing. Let's talk to this guy again. Yes, I did. Let's confirm. You don't think I can take a picture? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, uh, they have some sunshine, blah, 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 blah. Um, three? Okay. I think I have three. Don't I? That's a Hylian shroom. Ah, I do have three sunshrooms. Cool. So let's just talk to this guy. Yep. Hand him over. There you go. You can take him. Sweet. What did you want to talk to me about? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure how to make a search. Yes, I know. Huh. He said he had something to talk to me about, but no, I'm good. Let's, um, ah. Sure. I have no idea what's going on. Adding a picture to the compendium. Oh, what picture are we adding? I don't think I've ever done this before. Going back and talking to that guy because he was usually just one of those characters you don't want to talk to. Interesting. Was that warm Cephalina or something like that? You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful for overriding it. So let's see, um, I think, yeah, Warm Cephalina. That's interesting. Uh, I know we're gonna need that later on when we have to find Warm Cephalina freaking everywhere. All right, so 
we don't have our horse with us right now. But there's also a Korok, I believe, at the top of this place. So let's grab that. Yeah, in there, that's her room where she has like a, a journal and you can read up on her, her story and how she got there. I love that you can literally climb on anything in this game. This is such a great view, too. And there are two or more shrines, actually. There's more than two, probably. Um, I know that there's a bunch of rupees on that rock, if you land on that rock. Um, there's a shrine there. There's a shrine there. There's another shrine over there. Uh, we will hit all those later on once we get towards the uh, the whole hunting for shrines thing. So our horse is down there. We can just um, paraglide down, really. Oh, but you know what? There's stuff in here that I can use a bomb on, I think. Maybe I just wasted all that height on something stupid. Or was it? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, well. Well, now we're walking. I'm going to speed it up, and then if I find anything, I'll stop. All right. Back to the horse, and there is a shrine for Hateno Village, so let's go do that shrine real quick. It's that big orange thing that's sticking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Which way? How do we get it here? Oh, this way. So you do let me run in here. I wonder when she makes me stop. Yeah, doing this whole no fast travel thing, it really makes you think about where you can and cannot take your horse. And should I leave my horse or should I take my horse everywhere I go? It's really forcing me to take these paths that I just never would have taken before. Yeah, get more frogs. There's another fish in here somewhere. Come here, fish. I'm gonna trap you. There we go. I heard another frog, too. There he is. No! Okay, whatever. Come on, let's go. I know you don't want to run, but we can at least trot. Here I am talking to a virtual horse. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love the music in Hateno Village, and uh, there's another town. It's uh, We have to build it. It's called Terrytown. That one has really good music, too. But let's go ahead and stop by the shrine here. Still don't want to run, huh? That's okay. Mm, I am a Ghana apparatus. Oh, apparatus. I know what that means. Um, we have to use the lovely uh, motion controls in this one. And this is the one with the uh, the maze in the middle, and they want you to play this little marble maze thing, but I say screw that, and I just flip the controller all the way upside down, wait for the ball to drop again, and then you roll it down this way and fling it up. And hopefully not as far as that. Or did that make it? I think it did, because it didn't respawn. There it is. Cool. That'll open the door. There's a treasure chest over here. So we'll wait for this little cutscene to open the door. Thank you very much. And then what you do here is you just reposition this so you can jump onto it. Um, I'm actually going to set it up like that. Because then I can fly over to there. Ooh, I can't fly over to there. Let's make this lower here. 
Nope. Make it even lower. I should be able to make that. Yeah. And now I am a rat in a maze. And probably going to get an inventory full again, but... But it's another phrenic bow, bow, so I'm gonna take that and drop these garbage boko bows. That's just straight up garbage. Those bows are when you're desperate, and I'm not there yet. So, and then we'll just jump off this. And I wonder if I can. Um... Nope, not enough of a of an incline to do that. And that's it. A very, very simple solution to a problem that they wanted to make it more interesting and make you use the motion controls, but I just... I spent too much time the first time I did that and I got mad and flipped my controller over and I noticed that the thing kept spawning. So, I just did it that way. Alright, so... I almost forgot again, but let's go ahead and do this now. Looking for a good area. I guess this is fine. Um, nope, not that. We're gonna go ahead and do the Ocarina of Time one first. All this extra meat. Huh. That's a nice claymore. I'll go ahead and get rid of that broken sword. And let's do the next one. This is the horse link. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called horse link. Oh, jeez. That's actually really nice. I really do like those broadswords. Don't need that. Whoa, suspended in air. All right. Now we'll get on our horse and we will get out of this town. Um, over to the left is where Link's house is, or will be when we buy it, but we just aren't there yet. Um, how much money do we have? 136 bucks. That's not enough to do a lot. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to start heading back towards um, Kakariko Village since we still have time in this episode with all the speed ups that I'm adding in and um, I'm going to try to get back to this area here. This is where that shrine was um, seeing as it's later in the afternoon. It's five o'clock. If I blitz it over there, we might be able to get there in time for the night time. Come on. So I'm just going to ignore things that we see, kind of, unless something big happens, and uh, try to get there. Um, because if we can get more of these shrines in, that means we get more hearts faster, and more stamina faster, and all that fun stuff faster. I just scared that lady. And we're gonna skip. Ooh. That. I will get that. Because I really like this honey. Ah! I just got beat up by. Oh! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna hit you guys with my. N Ow. There we go. I just got beat up by bees. Fun. That's really fun. And it's recorded, so everybody will see this forever. My horse got beat up by bees. Hey, bees are no joke. There are people that have died by being attacked by bees. Let's see, 640. Sun's almost setting. 
Should be good. Ah, bomb area. Ah. Here's the means of treasure chest. That's okay. Amber is good to keep uh, collecting. Alright, I think we are almost here. And once we get to a certain time of night, you'll see the... There's a bunch of, like, stones that are buried over here, or half buried. And uh, one of them starts to glow creepily. And then a shrine appears out of there. So let's actually just walk this area. Get that hardy radish. Um, let's also do this so we can get all the foliage around here. Pick up all the shrooms since we have some time until that light comes off. And also we got to keep an eye out for any beetles that I may see. I don't see any beetles. But this looks like it might be a Korok. Some flint. Okay, Korok time. Let's get an apple. Mm-hmm. Eleven Koroks. It's not that much. I really want to do more. But, oh, phew, turn around and a beetle flies away. Great. Good job. Um, I don't want to fight you with that. I'll just use your wood, the woodcut axe. Okay. Emblazoned shield. Can't even carry it. Alright, so it's almost nighttime, and one of these guys is going to start to glow very creepily. There's another beetle that I just let go. Fantastic. And we just sit and watch. I'm going to speed it up until something happens. There we go. Wasn't that much of a speed up. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to shoot with an arrow. That's right. And out from the ground comes another shrine. Very cool, especially the first time you see that. Very, very cool. Um, and then after a while, you notice that uh, about 20 or 30 of these do that. Okay, Trial of Passage. Let me try to remember this one. I know it has something to do with a wheel, that's for sure. Um, man, you just cannot slide on these things. All right, well, magnetism, more than likely, because of these spiky balls going everywhere. Let me, um... Move that this way, we'll climb on this. Let's see where this takes us. Well, it takes us to this treasure chest. It's probably like opal. Of course, it's opal. Always opal. Whenever it's something you don't want. Ooh, let's get this one real quick before it goes away. <sighs> Inventory's full. Yes, I know. So let's try to quickly drop something. That way we can grab it. Yes. And then I'm going to try to climb on the other side of this platform before it falls. And use that to climb up. 
I need to get to the one with the stairs. Oh, <laughs> I'm on it. That's good. Should I go up or down? Let's go up. What's down? Looks like nothing is down. This is just another way to go up, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because we got two treasure chests. There should be everything in this shrine. That's actually a pretty efficient shrine. Right, so there's another shrine nearby, and it's actually up this mountain. Um, and I'm probably not going to be able to get to it because it's inside of this waterfall right here. Um, I'm not going to get to it because I don't have enough stamina to do that. Um, we are... Well, my recording is just over an hour right now, but that does not count the skipping that I'm going to add. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's get back to Kakariko and get the champion's tunic and call it a day. Uh, and we're just going to, since we've already traversed all this before, we'll just blaze right through it, get the champion's tunic, call it an episode, and then um, continue on next time. Alright, Dulce, let's get out of this place. This place is creepy as hell. All right, Fox, let's go. I love these uh, structures. They make it so grand. Creepy person's house over there. Ooh, there's two things of honey. Ah. No, let's skip it for now. Uh, where's the road? Oh yeah, this is the road. I think there will come a time where I just don't use the horse at all. Just because it's so... You, you kind of stuck to roads when you do the horse thing. Um, they don't play very nice outside of that. Rico. Kakariko, yay! And we will finish off this episode after we talk to Impa. Uh, and she gives us a champion's tunic, which is the. It's pretty much the tunic you see in all the trailers that he plays with. It's that like light blue one, and one of the benefits to that is uh, when you upgrade it, it gives you the most uh, protection out of uh, most of the armor that's there. I mean, I think it ties with with one or two other ones, but. Um, and, it also lets you see the hit points of all the enemies. Let's get something nicer. Sometimes I'll like prep myself to make make myself look nicer when I go into movies and stuff. There's Impa right there. Let's talk to this lady. How can she hear that stuff? I mean, we're the ones traveling.
Oh, okay. So I have to go and get a memory. Okay, well, we'll do that next time then. Because we are running out of time. For today, at least. Right. So, let's go out to this beautiful town that I love so much. And uh, we'll go ahead and end it here. What the heck was that? Um, anyway. Um, restless Cricket. Right, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much where we'll end it. Next uh, episode, we will go grab the Champion's Tunic. We have to go get a memory first. Um, I do know where the closest memory is here. Uh, so we'll go grab that at the beginning of the episode, come back, grab the Champion's Tunic, and then from that point on, <laughs> we will uh, continue on with the rest of the Let's Play of Breath of the Wild. Thank you very much for watching.